Distinctive Assets is a Los Angeles-based entertainment marketing company. It's producing again this year their legendary Everyone Wins nominee gift bags for the Oscars. Now, this year's top acting and directing nominees will get the six-figure gift bag intended to delight pamper and surprise with me is lash Ferry, the founder of distinctive assets with all kinds of fun stuff so great to have you back on the show and let's talk about give me kind of an overview of some of the things and then we'll talk about some more right after that yeah well this is something we put together independently in the academy and what's so great about that is that i get to decide who gets it and it's only the top 25 acting and directing nominees and what's in it. And I have to say, I am so proud of what we put together this year. A few of the most extravagant gifts. This box has a $50,000 trip inside. So this is from Chalet Zermatt Peak in the Swiss Alps. They get the entire award-winning six-story chalet for them and nine friends to go and enjoy. If they're feeling more beachy for their vacation plans, they can head to the Caribbean and get a $25,000 private villa from St. Bart Paradise. Or they can stay right here in Southern California and enjoy a $24,000 week of mind, body, and spirit renewal from the legendary Golden Door. And not only is it an amazing spa, but they donate 100% of their net profits to child abuse charities. Oh, my gosh. I'll take all the above. Those all sound awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and there's a lot of other things, too, that you have. And I know that how uh, you really try to uh, feature minority and women-owned entrepreneurs with your items. So give me a sense of what else is in the gift box. Well, I'm so glad that you asked. Over half the items this year fall into the categories of minority-owned businesses, female-owned businesses, small businesses, brands that give back. So for example, we have this incredible line called Overnight Travel Bags. There's a red duffel that you may or may not be able to see in the shot, but a Black-owned business doing great, great things. And we're trying to help as many of those brands as possible. This is a great line. This is called Satache, a female-owned brand, and it's for your shoes. So a luxury, chic way to bring your change of shoes with you. And then we're also throwing in shoes for them this year from Hey Dude. We've got this incredible purse company called Elbot Couture, female-owned brand, a purse seat for them called Bag Seat to protect your purse if you have to set it on the floor, another female-owned business, um, tons of beauty products from female-owned brands, for example, Epic Light Beauty. This is skincare and makeup all in one. My favorite skincare line of all time, Miage Skincare. This is an ultra luxury line. They're getting a $515 set of Miage transformative skincare. Yes, I know some of those products are wonderful. Um, I got some that you were so gracious to send me some of the things as well. And um, I just, I, I love all of the products that you have. So now who all gets this? Are they all the nominees for the top awards or where does it go exactly? It goes to the nominees in the best actor, actress, supporting actor and actress and directing categories. So 25 people. And then we always throw one in for the host of the show. So cutie patootie, Jimmy Kimmel will get one too. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this? This is our 22nd year of putting together this particular gift bag. And I had to say over the years, it's grown, but also pretty much uh, it's still a staple of amazing stuff. And what we found over the years is the ability to give back is always so important to them. So the fact that PETA is with us yet again with a vegan dog food company called V-Dog. This is plant powered. They're donating 10,000 meals. V-Dog is to dogs in need through PETA's Global Compassion Fund. Wow. And what a great avenue for them to get their brand out as well. You know, some of these are small businesses. You know, maybe people haven't heard of them, but what a great way for them to be introduced. It's uh, And it's the big ticket items, but I find over the years of doing this, it's also sometimes the small things. And we found that anyone with kids, if they can share something with their young ones, it's always special. So we have a book that I actually just love the name. It's called Be Nice, The End. This is from Meet the Playground Kids. And it's all about teaching your young ones about compassion and empathy and kindness and uh, inclusivity, which let's be honest, I think adults these days need to read this book too. <laughs> Well, we could all use some more of that compassion and kindness, I think, in the world right now. Lash, thank you so much. Best of luck. Congratulations on your success and uh, so many cool things. And we'll see you at the Oscar. You want to make any predictions or? You oh, I'm going with Oppenheimer. I'm an Oppenheimer, as they say. So Oppenheimer <laughs> all the way. Although I really loved American fiction, too. That was my second favorite film of the year. Yeah, I haven't seen too many of the Oscar. And I did see Oppenheimer on a plane and, and loved it. And so, but I'm really looking forward to the show tonight. 
Enjoy. Thank you. Bye.